end of 30 days of prayer of praying over the pond. And I just want to thank you for taking the time um, as I, we walk around the pond to pray over it, pray that maybe the leak gets fixed, uh, that I figure out how to fix it. If I've got to do something like come in and core the levee, if I need to put in a product or a material in here that's going to seal uh, seal it, uh, whether somebody's going to come along that has a trick to do it. Hopefully the answer is not put pigs in it and like a fence and all that, but whatever God says is what we're going to do at the end of this. Um, <clears throat> but it's also a time of just growing together in our walks with Christ and encouraging each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. So if you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments, or if you don't want it to be known, um, put unspoken but then also feel free to uh, DM me and let me know anything that's heavy on your heart that I can pray over that you don't want to just share publicly, uh, but you'd feel comfortable sharing with me. Um, <clears throat> today's devotional. So today's devotional comes from Revelations, last book of the Bible. So here it is. It says, <clears throat> looked up to heaven, saw this door open. And then it says, he spoke, to, God spoke to me saying, Come up here, let me show you a higher level. And you see, that's the thing about our walk with Christ. Every time you think you have achieved this level, this status, uh, hit this milestone or this goal in your walk, God says, nope, even higher. So there's never this like level of saint that you're going to achieve here on earth. There's always temptations. The devil's always going to use those things to throw those things at you. You're going to feel like you're in this game of tug of war and that's just life. And the thing is like when God calls you to higher places, it's like this awesome plateau that you're going to be on where you can walk around with ease that you don't feel like you're on the edge where when Satan does it, it's going to feel like you're on the edge. So guys, trust God, seek God, and when you do those things, there's no doubt. The thing I've realized when God calls me to a higher place, when God challenges me and calls me to do something, there is 100% peace where I'm on the flip side, when I'm trying to pursue something, when I'm wanting to do something, when I'm not acting, and when I'm acting in the flesh and not of the spirit, there's hesitation, there's resistance. Even if I am forcing it, there is like the faintest voice in the back of my head that's saying, this isn't it, don't do it. I know it looks enticing, that's not it. And it's really just like the, the, the fruit in the garden. Man, it just, it looks awesome. God, it's gotta be, you've got it here for me. It's right here in front of me. This has gotta be your blessing. Even though you told me this wasn't it, God to do it, but God, it's got to be. It's right here. God's saying, no, it's not it. So you got to listen to that voice. And here's the, here's the awesome thing. When you are obedient in that moment and you trust God and you listen to God and you restrain yourself from acting of the flesh, acting in sin, being tempted, then God's voice gets a little more loud. His blessings, he knows that he can trust you with a little bit more. And God is working in, in your life to prepare you for something way greater than this thing in front of you that you see. God is calling you to a higher place to show you even something greater. Like you thought this was the pinnacle, but it's not. It's even higher. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for just your blessings. We thank you for the air that we breathe, God. We thank you for another opportunity today to go out and to be a light in a dark place, to be your hands and feet. Father, I pray that you would use me as a vessel for your glory. God, that you would direct my path. Uh, Father, I pray that you would always keep me humble. Lord, I pray that you would always put the roadblocks in the way when uh, I am pursuing something that you don't want me to pursue. God, I pray that I would hear your word when you speak. And Lord, I pray that I would slow down and, and listen and wait in the times of, in the seasons of life when I'm to listen and wait. Lord, I wanna lift up all the many spoken and unspoken requests. I just ask that you would 
Uh, just fill this group with your love and your peace and your joy. Father, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.